guys. I'm so excited. Brandon, can you feel it? Oh, man. I've been, waiting, I've been waiting to see golf all weekend. All right, we're underway and straight away moving forward is Mika Galval wasting no time. Galval, strong in every, literally every position. Amazing wrestling, fantastic wrestling, and he's displayed that very recently in two big, high-profile matches in really tossing around really well-versed wrestlers in Cody Steele and Mika Galval. Oh, but there's a nice feint from Ewo Rodriguez that forced a big reaction from Galval. Galval, very dynamic player as well. Yeah. I mean, he'll, he can he'll jump flying on flying armbars. Yeah. <laughs> flying submissions, takedowns, you name it, right? Incredible yeah, top boy. position player. So if Rodriguez, though, can find a way. Here's the thing. This is a unique rule set. So if Rodriguez can find a way to strategically pull Mika apart, he, he could have a chance at this. Yeah, first time we've seen Mika Galval compete under this rule set. Igor Rodriguez had his first taste yesterday, I believe, um, in the, the semi-final match against Universal Fighters. But Mika competes in pretty much everything. ADCC, IBJJF, who's number one, you name it. He's got experience and it, the rule sets never really change the fact that he is a submission hunter and can be a very, very dominant grappler as well. And you just see, just from some of the movements that he's made so far, Oh, look at this, swinging around for the arm lock early. Just an example of what I'm talking about. He'll, he'll make a play out of nowhere sometimes. Igor, though, fins it off. Mika wrestling up, using that arm drag to come up on the single leg. Looking for the foot sweep, Lost nothing the control, going. just on the edge of bounds at the restart there. But yeah, I love the way that he passed the arm across with a two on one and came up to the, to the single. So far, so good for Igor Rodriguez. Yeah. Look at Baby Shark in the corner there. Jogo Hayes, ADCC, world champion 2022, IBJJF world champion, teammate, training partner, practically a brother to Mika Galvao. And then on the far left is the coach, of course, the, the mastermind behind all that success, Melky Galvao, coach to both Mika, father to Mika, and coach to both Mika and Diogo. Mika getting heavy on the head. Some tape came off the hands there of uh, Igor Rodriguez. Just shows how tight those grips are in this hand fight. And oh, out of bounds onto the entrance ramp. It's a shame that Mika didn't have a little bit more room for that because that would probably would have been a scoring takedown had it happened in the center of the mat. Rodriguez has been able to shut Mika out of any kind of scoring opportunity so far. You know, I gotta say. Oh, God, what a foot sweep. Look at that beautifully timed Sasai Tsurikoshi. Oh, just sent Igor Rodriguez down to the mat. And if he can stabilize position here and run around to the back, or yeah, he's looking for it. First hook is in. Yeah, far side hook is in. Seatbelt grip is on. It looks like the arm's going under the neck. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, all the way across. He's throwing the chunk early. There's the second hook. Okay, oh, Igor strips it clear. He's already got the game, the ground he needs covered. One arm rear naked choke is coming. There's the finish. Mika Galvao gets it then. 1 0 to Team Adolfo. Round one submission. Well, that's the Mika Galvao show right there. That's what we were talking about, Brandon. Beautiful display of a little bit of everything wrestling, submissions, and gets the all important first win in this series. The referee that is going to start this match at the first round. After the submission count was quadrant from the red corner, Mika Kanto! Just less than three and a half minutes into that match. Uh, the second round, excuse me. Okay, all right. We're gonna have to see a replay of that because I love that that perfectly timed foot sweep. It really was something special. Yeah, that one's going on the ground. That one's going on the ground. Man, I, I think we're gonna really look back at these moments here 
and be like, we were here for the early stages of Mika Galball's career. I really think this kid is gonna be one of the all-time greats. You can see just the technical precision, the body weight positioning, the dexterity to be able to slide that foot through. I love the way that he didn't sacrifice any of the upper body control while searching for the hooks. Beautiful arm trap, one arm, rear naked choke. And Igor Rodriguez had no choice but to tap. I would love to see that takedown. Yeah, foot I want to see that foot sweep again. Yeah, beautifully timed. But I mean, it was a really nice submission. That's shades of Marcelo Garcia right there. And Mika just looks like the nicest person in the world while he's strangling you to death. <laughs> you just look at his little baby face and like, this can't be the guy. He's a very polite, respectful young man, that is for sure. I really hope we get to see that, that takedown. The foot sweep was so good. Absolutely through. Got some air miles off that one, and that's definitely his style. He's him.